Hey, what's up? It's Phil from Easy Unreal, and let's create uh, reference images uh, from planes and textures in Unreal Engine 5. Also, we will create uh, this so we can change the opacity of our texture, of our reference image, so we can see what's happening uh, behind it. The first step is to import our reference image. I have this uh, image over here, so I just drag and drop it to the Unreal in our content folder. The next step is to add a plane. We can do this with a simple quickly add to the project and go to shapes, click plane, and we need to uh, drop our image to the plane. Uh, we can't do that, so we need to create a material for this. Uh, it's very easy, right click, hit material, enter, uh, and we have our new material over here. So we need to add image, uh, we will add it to the base color, so just uh, drag your pin here, type in and find texture sample. You can see that we have our error that says missing input texture. So we need to add a texture, so select this. And you can see over here that you can add texture. So to do that, we will just select our image, go back to material and select, click this, use selected asset from the content browser and the image is here. Let's apply it, save it and go back over here. And now let's drag and drop our material here. And as you can see, we have our reference image, which we can uh, manipulate. For example, we can change this to be 90 degrees like this. Under the scale, we can increase the size to be five times bigger. But what if we want to add some opacity to our image so we can see what are we are doing behind our image? To do that, we will go back to our new material. And over here, you can see opacity. Uh, we can't add opacity because uh, we are a new material, if you click it, on the left side you can see the blend mode is opaque. We go over here and change this to be translucent. To change the opacity we need some, some numbers and to do that we will uh, just use the constant node uh, 1 or you can just hold the 1 on your keyboard and press left mouse button and connect it with the opacity. And you can see uh, it's gone because our value is 0. And this opacity goes from 0 to 1. If I change the value to 1, it will be uh, full. If I go 0 0.5, you can see that our uh, material is translucent. So let's apply it, save it and check it out. And we have this image uh, transparent so we can see what we are doing behind it. To better control this thing, uh, I recommend creating material instance. Uh, this means that we don't need to go every time over here and change inside of the material. We just go over here, new material, right click, create material instance and apply our material instance to the plane. So we are using material instance instead of our master material. Okay, nothing happened because those are the same. So we go to our master material and over here we will change this value to be zero and we will right click and convert to perimeter. So we, this will be opacity. And make sure to apply and save. This opacity will now be shown here in our material instance. So if we click material instance, you can see under the global scalar perimeter values, we have this opacity. This is, this is the opacity from our master material from over here. So we don't need actually our master material anymore. And over here, just type in 0 0.7 and hit enter and it will change. You can also make this smaller so you can, uh, you know, control this opacity uh, with uh, this sliding uh, technique. And uh, this is it. If you find this helpful, uh, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you want to learn more about Unreal Engine 5 and be faster, I have uh, 75 tips and tricks in the description below. So uh, check it out and let me know how it goes. And uh, until the next video, have a nice day. Bye bye.